The name of our play is The Three Bears and the Big Bad Hunter. Lights, camera, action. Once upon a time, the three bears, their names were Felicia Bear, Becky Bear, and Brody Bear. One day, they decided to go off on their own, explore the world, and build their own houses. Felicia Bear saw some nice grass and leaves. This grass and these leaves will make a wonderful house for me. So she built her house out of grass and leaves. It was a very nice house. Next, Becky Bear found some sticks and logs. These sticks and logs will make a perfect house for me. So she built a house from six and long. I like my nature looking house. Brody Bear thought that he would make his house out of bricks. He found a wheelbarrow full of bricks. He decided to use them to make his house. I will make my house sturdy and safe with these bricks. So they all moved into the houses and were very happy until one day it was hunting season. I hope our house can make them. I am so excited it's hunting season. I hope I have some luck. So the big red hunter set off in charge of bears. Soon he came up on Felicia Bear's house. He decided to trick her when Felicia Bear was playing video games when she heard a knock on the door. Who is it? And little bear, little bear. Collector, you need to pay your taxes. Come on out. I'll be out in a minute. Felicia Bear peeked out the window and could see that it was not the tax collector. It was Big Bad Hunter. You're no tax collector. I'm not coming outside. Okay, then I'll just knock your house down. So the Big Bad Hunter got a big sledgehammer and knocked the house down. Felicia Bear snuck away and went, went to Becky Bear stick house. The, the big bad hunter's trying to get me. Let me in. Quick, come inside. Soon the big bad hunter came along. Little bear, little bears, let me come in. Go away. Come back never. Okay, then I'll just knock your house down. He took out a saw and cut Becky Bear's house down. Quickly, foolish about Becky Bear's. Ran away and went to Brody Bear's house. Quick, open the door and let us in. The big bad hunter has knocked our houses down and headed this way. Quick, get in here fast! So the big bad hunter arrived at Brody Bear's house. She knocked at the door. Little bears, little bears, let me come in. No, no way. It's not going to happen. Okay, then I'll just knock your house down. So the big bad hunter got out some matches and dynamite. He tried to light the dynamite to blow up the house, but the match would not work. He looked in the box for another match, but they were all gone. <laughs> the big bad hunter was upset about not being able to get any meat all of a sudden. What's that delicious smell, bears? Can I please come and have dinner with you? The three bears opened the door. Can we trust you? Yes, I'll leave my sledgehammer and my saw and the dynamite outside. So the big bad hunter went inside and joined the bears for spaghetti and meatballs. They enjoyed their dinner and decided it was better to be friends. They lived ha They all lived happily ever after. No, My name is Morgan and I play the Big Red Hunter. My name is Wyatt and I play Bo Brody Bear. My name is Avery and I play Felicia Bear. My name is Emma and I play played Becky Bear. My name is Paul and I play narrator. What the name of our play is, is Lisa and the Three Cheetahs. Lights, camera, action. Once upon a time, there were three cheetahs who lived in a grassland. 
There was a papa and his two twin children. Their mama was on a vacation in Canada. They were a happy family. One day, papa had made prayer chicken nuggets, but when he went to serve them to the twins, Jackson's cheetah spilled his milk on the nuggets and they were ruined. Oh no, you ruined that prayer chicken nuggets. The twins started to cry. Kids don't cry, let's just go out to eat at Chicken Hut. Oh yes, Chicken Hut's our favorite restaurant. So the Chias left and went to Chicken Hut. While they were gone, a little girl named Lisa was out for a walk and she stumbled in the Cheetah's yard. I wonder whose yard this is. She smelled the prairie chicken nuggets that the Cheetahs had made. So she decided to see if she could find them. This is a nice yard and it smells delicious here. Mmm, they look so good. Lisa looked at the three plates left on the table. These nuggets are just soggy. These nuggets are wet too. It looks like someone spilled their milk all over. These nuggets look pretty okay. So she ate them all up. Next, Lisa walked over to another area. It looked like a fun play area. She decided to look at the toys. This toy is way too noisy. She looked at the next toy. This toy is way too many pieces. Too much work. Then Lisa saw a toy that interested her. Hey, this looks really fun. But when she was playing with the toy, it broke. Oopsie daisy. I think I'm getting tired. I think I'll go find a good place to nap. Lisa looked around for a good place. First, she found some wood laid out for a bed. This is way too hard. So she went to the next bed. This is way too crunchy. Finally, she found the third bed. Ah, oh, this is really comfy. So Lisa down. Soon she was very comfortable and she was sound asleep. Meanwhile, the Cheetah family returned home. Oh, I'm stuffed. That chicken hut is the best restaurant there is. I ate way too many of the nuggets. Hopefully you saved some room for the strawberry shortcake that I brought home from the restaurant. I think someone has been in our yard. Um, it looks messy. We don't leave it like this. Yeah, I think there was an intruder. It looks like someone ate some of the nuggets we left. Hey, look, someone broke my toy. I think I see, hey, look, I think I see the intruder in my bed. Just then, Lisa woke up because she heard the cheetahs talking. She was surprised. What are you doing here? How did you get in? I was out for a walk, and I smelled this delicious smell. I ended up in your yard. I looked around for somebody, but then I fell asleep. Well, you were lucky, because we were just going to have strawberry shortcake that we brought home from Chicken Hut. Would you like to join us? Yes, please. That'd be wonderful. So they all sat down and ate the delicious strawberry shortcake. Hey, Lisa, I could use a break. Do you want to come back and babysit sometime? Sure, that'd be great. I do see it all the time. Yay! So Lisa came back to take care of Joe and Jackson every Tuesday and Thursday. She was the best babysitter ever. And they lived happily ever after. The end. end. Okay, good. So I'll take my scores first. My name is Max, and I play Papa Cheetah. My name is Mamir, and I play Jackson Cheetah. My name is Riley, and I play Julie Cheetah. My name is Amelia, and I play Lisa. My name is Keenan, and I was the narrator. The name of our play is Little Pink Elephant. Let's camera's action. On a time, there was a little pink elephant. Little pink elephant lived on a street with her three friends, Cat, Robin, and Doc. Little pink elephant was a nice little bigger. She owned her own cafe called Sweet Dreams Cafe. She made the best cakes. His specialty was chocolate cake. Cat loved to play video games. He sat at the table at the cafe and played all day long. Robin was terrific at laser tag. He could be anyone he played. Dog was a race car driver. 
he had won all kinds of races. One day, Little Pink Elephant was going to invite her friends to the cafe to have some of her special chocolate cake. I'm really hungry for some chocolate cake. I think I'll invite my friends, Cat Dog and Robin, to come and join me. She looked in her cupboard to see if she had the ingredient. She made a, a list of things she needed to get from the store. Hmm, let's see. I need flour, eggs, sugar, chocolate mix, chocolate frosting, and sprinkles. I'm going to the market. Who would like to come with me? Not I. Said Cat. I'm busy playing with your cake. Not I. Said Robin. I need to adjust the straw for my laser rest. Not I. Said Dog. I need to get gas in my car. Well, then I'll just go to the market by myself. So the little pink elephant went to the market and got flour, sugar, eggs, chocolate mix, chocolate fluffing, and she carried all the things back to her house. I'm back, I'll think I'll start making the cake. Who'd like to help me make the cake? The cat. I'm still playing video cake. Not I. Said the rabbit. I need to try some rabbits. Not I. Said the dog. I need to get my helmet on and gear up for the race. Well then I'll just make the cake by myself. So Little Pink Elephant grabbed some chocolate, sugar, egg, flour, and milk, and mixed up the cake. The cake, and put it in the oven. She set the timer. The timer rang, and the cake was done. It was time to frost the cake. Who would like to help me frost the cake? Not I. Said Cat. Not I. Said Robin. Not I. Said Dog. We're all too busy. Well, then I'll just frost the cake by myself. So Little Pink Elephant frosted the cake. It looked beautiful. Hey, that cake looks good. Yeah, it smells delicious. Can I have a piece? Yeah, it looks delicious. Oh no, you guys didn't help me, so I'm going to eat it by myself. Hey, if we do the dishes, can we have a piece? Please, please. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. I guess so. So Little Pink Elephant and her friends eat the delicious chocolate cake. Later, Cat, Robin, and Dog clean up the kitchen. And they all live happily ever after. The end. My name is Ezekias and I play dog. My name is Mason and I play Robin. My name is Taylor and I play cat. My name is, my name is Amelia and I play little pink elephant. My name is Natalie and I play narrator. <coughs> the name of our play is Little Purple Riding Hood. Lights, camera, action. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Purple Riding Hood. She lived with her dad. Little Purple Riding Hood, your grandpa called this morning and said that he would like you to come visit this afternoon. He misses you and would like you to come play knee hockey with him. He also wants you to bring some banana bread for a treat. Sure, I'll go. That'll be fine. Go out there and remember, don't talk to any strangers and stay on the path. I promise I won't talk to any stranger or get off the path. So Little Purple Riding Hood went on her way, but she soon forgot the first thing her dad told her. She met a stranger. Hello, little girl. Where are you going? What do you have in your basket? I'm going to my grandpa's house to play me hockey. Are you going to see your grandpa down the road? No, he lives over there in the lake and the big house. Have you stopped and picked some malls? No, she sat with some along with the banana bread. Yeah. Right. That's a good idea because my grandpa loves apples. 
While Little Purple Riding Hood was picking apples, the wolf ran ahead to Grandpa's house. When he got there, he knocked on the door. Who's there? Little Purple Riding Hood, come in. I was expecting you. The wolf went inside, found Grandpa, and swallowed him home. He dressed in Grandpa's clothes. and sat and waited for Little Purple Riding Hood to arrive. Meanwhile, Little Purple Riding Hood finished picking apples and went on her way to Grandpa's house. She, she got to Grandpa's house and knocked on the door. Ooh, Grandpa, can I come in? Yes, honey, I'm here. She noticed how strange Grandpa looked. Grandpa, you look a little different today. What big eyes you have. All the better to see you, my dear. Grandpa, what big ears you have. All the better. All the better to hear your beautiful voice, darling. Grandpa, what big, Grandpa, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. Just as the wolf was reaching for a little purple riding hood, she screamed and tried to run away. She tripped on a rock. The wolf caught her and made her hole too. The wolf was so full that he couldn't move. He lay down and fell asleep. What? What is going on here? This looks so huge and his belly is moving. Dad quickly grabbed a pair of scissors and cut the rope the cut the wolf open. Out popped Grandpa and little purple riding hood. Phew, thank you, Dad. I'm glad to be out of that wolf. Grandpa grabbed a needle and thread and sewed the wolf back together. The family came up with a plan of what to do with the wolf. Let's take him somewhere where he can learn some manners. That's a great idea. Dad took him off to a man and much training center. Grandpa and Little Purple Riding Hood play me hockey. Grandpa won. Later they had the banana bread for a snack. A few days later, the man in much training center called and said that Wolf had got his manners back. They asked the family to come and pick him up. They did, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. My name is McCall and I play the wolf. My name is Parker and I play the dad. My name is Madeline and I play Little Purple Riding Hood. My name is Breland and I play Grandpa. My name is Ansley and I was the narrator.